The sound of pads hitting pads and hitting pads. Marks the start of a fresh new high school football season. However, this year, the North Andover Scarlet Knights won't start their season in the hot August torridness. Instead, they begin their season in the cold winter months. We're ecstatic for that we're out here. The weather's great. We have no complaints about that. We have no complaints about anything that we're out here. Put it that way. John Dubzinski and the Scarlet Knights are playing in an unusual football season this year as they are part of the MIAA's Fall 2 sports plan. Alongside cheerleading, indoor track, and unified basketball, football began their season on February 22nd as part of the MIAA's four-season plan to try and navigate the COVID-19 pandemic. You know, we were waiting and waiting and waiting. We heard that it is a wedge season, which was a great opportunity, but in the back of our minds, we were still, you know, cognizant of what was going on with the amount of cases in Massachusetts on the rise after Thanksgiving and Christmas, and we were very concerned. Like its predecessor sports, football players and coaches are required to wear masks at all times. Teams are allowed 45 players on a section of the field at each time, in addition to socially distanced water breaks and constant equipment wipe down. At the end of the day, it is, it's, it's, we're in a pandemic. We have to follow all the regulations, and just because we play football, that doesn't mean we ignore it. We have to. We want the season to happen, and we don't want to... We've come this far. We don't, we don't want to lose track of it, so we're doing our best. It was an adjustment for players and coaches sitting out on the sidelines in the fall as other states were in the full swing of their respective seasons. Friday nights, I mean, we were watching Florida high school football on ESPN, and you're seeing that all these teams are, throughout the whole country were playing high school football, and it was, it was tough to watch. We have an awesome group of kids here, and just, just the mere fear of not being able to experience the season with them was, um, you know, it, it was nerve-wracking. But despite not playing any football for almost 15 months, starting their season in February makes no difference for the Scarlet Knights as they're just excited to practice in pads and prepare for a vigorous Merrimack Valley Conference schedule. We have a, a group of kids here that are great leaders and um, they played in a lot of big games throughout their career and um, every day we're just trying to get better and work hard and do the little things and be coachable and uh, you know just be great teammates you know and, and the win, we always say that wins are byproducts of what you do in practice. After reaching the MIAA Division II North Final for the third consecutive season last year, expectations are high yet again for the Scarlet Knights. Boasting six senior captains and plenty of collegiate scholarship athletes come next fall, Coach Dubzinski knows the talent is there and that they are ready to wipe the slate clean and begin their new challenging season. You are still playing for the league championship and that's that's still a nice uh, motivating factor for the, for the seniors. I, I told them, I said, there are many kids walking around North Andover who say that they won the MVC three, three out of four years in their career. So that's a huge goal that we got this year. Now it is important to note in this fall two season that it will be a condensed schedule. So instead of the usual 10 to 11 games that are in a typical fall season for football, instead there will be six games. Now for the North Andover Scarlet Knights, they'll start their season March 13th against the Chumsford Lions, and they'll culminate their season against the Andover Golden Warriors on April 16th. There will be no state championship for high school football. Here in North Andover at Joe Wall Stadium, I'm Sam Murray.